what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the redmi k20 pro and today in this video i'm gonna be showing you how can you get back the l1 certification of drm and if you have lost it like me you guys might be a lot more disappointed than me because some of you guys do use netflix and amazon prime i don't but you might be using it for the 1080p or the hd resolution you definitely need the l1 certification for the redmi k20 pro and all other android devices of course this is simply a license for streaming services and stuff if you don't know what is a drm certificate and the way i lost it is i had to flash the persist image separately otherwise my sensors were broken because i moved from a very old oss vendor based rom to a miui vendor based rom that's when people were losing the sensors and that's how i lost it too and i did not have a backup of it but here let me actually tell you there is finally a fix for that and yes people have changed motherboard i have heard just to fix this particular issue and here you have to flash this miui u version 21.6.30 this is the miui 12 weekly beta build and this is the second june 2021 build as you can see from here i'll put all the download links in the description do not worry and i'll show you how can you move to this particular rom and get the drm certification now there is one bummer that is this is not for all the roms that's the saddest part in my opinion if it was for all other roms that would have been a way better solution but here let me tell you you are only getting this l1 certificate just for the eu rom itself you won't get it back whenever you're switching rom so yeah if you switch to a uh, aosp rom or if you switch to official miui your drm certification if it's broken already it will show as broken in other roms too but only here if you have a indian redmi k20 pro it will be showing as l1 in the xiaomi.eu rom so yes whenever you are streaming netflix or amazon prime or if you need to stream netflix or amazon prime you can simply switch to this xiaomi.eu rom and do that in 10p or full hd there are some notes l1 certification and restoration is working for rafael in now that is the indian k20 pro and here it shows even permanently lost l1 devices were able to restore l1 but again that is simply for the rom itself this is a rom side l1 not a device specific l1 let me actually show you my device drm certification as of right now so here as you can see i have the drm certificate as l3 if you are noticing it this is not a screenshot i just opened the app by the way as you can see it is showing as l3 right here so yeah my drm certification has been broken earlier so that's why it shows l3 right here i don't have a subscription so i can't actually show you the resolution changes but yeah i am on the evolution x rom by the way as of right now this is the latest evolution x rom that i'm on right now and if you haven't seen the video of it you can check out the card right there so right now what i'm gonna do is i have already downloaded the rom file itself of course the eu rom and right now i'm gonna reboot to the recovery by the way, this Evolution X ROM is OSS vendor based ROM over here, not MIUI vendor based ROM. So this is the latest Orange Box recovery for Redmi K20 Pro or Rafael. As you can see, the version is R11.1 underscore 2. This is the latest beta build, by the way, of the Orange Box recovery. I'm going to use that. So before proceeding, I will suggest to do a complete backup of your device. But here I have already backed up my device. So I don't need to worry about that. So make sure before proceeding back up everything what you have in internal storage. So first thing we are going to do is go to wipe. And by the way, again, I have a OSS vendor based ROM installed right now. So I'm going to wipe Dalvi cache system vendor and data these things. And now I'm going to swipe to wipe. So it's down now. Right now I'm going to go to home and let's go to files. So this is where I have the xiaomi.eu file. This is the 21.6.30 30 i guess as you can see 21.6.30 version 12 11 it shows so i'm gonna select this one and then add to queue then i'll just select the fcrypt disabler over here so if you're wondering about the queue i'm flashing the xiaomi.eu with fcrypt disabler so right now i'll just go back and i'll select this reboot after installation is complete and then i'll just swipe to install and wait for the time being by the way, I flashed the fcrypt disabler over here because my storage is decrypted. If your storage is encrypted, you don't need that. But you might have to format data if your storage is encrypted. If you are moving from OSS vendor to this MIUI vendor based ROM, but I'm not really sure. Here I have decrypted storage, so I think I don't need to format data, but we'll see. So finally, we have the boot animation of MIUI. So that means the ROM has been flashed successfully. But here we have to wait for the time being. Alright, so it has finally booted after like 15 minutes, I would say. 
and here it shows MIUI 12.5 yours alone and I'll just continue the setup and I'll get back to you when I'm done with the setup. So here let me actually show you after doing the setup I have successfully booted into this MIUI 12.6 by Xiaomi.eu version 21.6.30 beta and in this particular build again the most interesting thing is actually working. Let me show you if I open the DRM info app right now just notice we have successfully gained the L1 certification over here from L3. So that is just amazing that the security level right now shows as L1 in the DRM info app. So right now in this device or in this ROM actually if I try to stream Netflix or Amazon Prime it will actually work. So yes this is for someone who use the Netflix or Amazon Prime apps and if you are one of them and if you have lost the DRM certification permanently earlier this is the ROM you should flash as of right now to get the L1 certification all the time so this is just amazing but yes if you switch rom and if you switch from this miui eu to other roms then maybe it will be broken again of course but here actually as you can see it shows l1 so let me actually go into the settings and from here if i go into this password and security then from here if i go into this fingerprint unlock i just entered my pin over here then from this fingerprint payments if i go into it we have the white wine l1 certification earlier this particular section used to show empty if you have broken drm certification but right now it shows this white wine l1 certificate and if i tap on it as you can see it shows certificate and it has a certificate number over here shows as one and if i click on the certificate as you can see it shows just a second so it shows updated successfully. So yeah, you can actually flash this particular Xiaomi.eu build to get back the L1 certification permanently. That is a huge thing in my opinion for the people who are into Netflix and Amazon Prime streaming. They are really gonna love this particular ROM. So if you're someone, if you're one of them, definitely make sure to share this video out with your friends so that they can flash this particular Xiaomi.eu ROM and they can enjoy the latest DRM certification over here without any issues. I did open CPU Z just to check the sensors and as you can see all the sensors over here are working fine. So there is no problem at all regarding sensor breaking issue or something because I have switched here from OSS vendor based ROM and as you can see in this EU MIUI all the sensors are working fine and even the camera and stuff everything is working fine no issues with that. So thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. And that's how you can get back your L1 certification in the latest Xiaomi.eu ROM. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.